All right, this is Egan on the 2016 room Lotso, the uh, spawn room it is. Okay, so this is a really, really cool spawn room. It's really unique, interesting ideas. I'll just kind of walk through it a little bit here so we can tell a little bit what it is. So it is a resupply payload sort of map. They have really interesting sort of like blown up in the rocks base. It's really unique feeling like the geometry okay you clip face stairs by the way really good use of just a lot of things you know um yeah really good use of space i like that you can kind of just keep walking up these stairs and just get to new places where the things are i don't know i don't know exactly why but your uh hdrq maps are broken that's why some things are super shiny but like I feel like you would have known that because your level of, uh, you know, design, your level of level design is like of high enough quality that you probably would have realized that. So I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with any like drama in the fucking forums about like broken cube maps because I, I quickly checked and some people were complaining about broken cube maps and shit. But like, um, oh, and the reason the icicles are black for me is because I turn off fong because fong eats up a lot of my frames on my gpu or maybe it's my cpu for some reason so that's why the icicles are black are black that's no problem of yours um i guess it would have looked better if i had turned them on for this detailing video but whatever okay so it looks great good use of tf2 props like being able to use or find a place for that uh draped uh carpet and the clocks and it really looks like you put a lot of thought into how people would even be using this place you know huddle around the fire because it's a very cold and desolate kind of environment but people are still using it oh and oh your 3d skybox transition i didn't even know you could put like props on the edge of the void so that they'd stick out a little bit and still have the lighting associated to them so it'd be hiding the mask of where the 3d skybox transition is oh my god awesome job on that dude very nice job you can barely tell that that's the 3d skybox it's so nice dude very very nice job on the transition there holy crap amazing yeah it looks really 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 good the outside bits are fantastic your displacements are amazing even the cave displacement is really 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 good <laughs> really 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 good um my only kind of problem with this is that you big this big cave why is a big snow covered cave in this environment why is that there like it looks like it's been lived in for a while it's almost like they just they knew that the cave existed here and they just kind of sort of filled it up but why did they build up the rest of the the environment to be so full of like you know concrete and like big metal buildings and then just forget even clear away any of the snow unless the snow came in afterwards which it looks like because you have like like maybe it was used eventually or maybe it was like the history of the building was like it was built a long time ago and they had this big shaft at a weird angle for some reason but i never bothered to fill it in like they had for the rest of the building with like actual like geometry like why would they have something that goes off into the distance behind here and they just never fucking fill in the sorry i swear a lot they just never fill in the the cave like why is the cave so natural but like did they blow open a hole afterwards did they break open a hole afterwards was it sealed and then they blew open a hole to the unfinished room why is it so like you have like a mansion sort of details up here but these are very fragile sort of details next to like an open hole to the cave. Why would they have that? That's such a weird feeling. It feels very cool and, you know, interestingly different from anything you perhaps have ever really seen in Team Fortress 2 before. But it also feels kind of strange, you know? Doesn't that feel kind of strange? Like it looks like things were here because this is upturned and then the snow just whoo, came in through the cave, maybe from the other side. But like, why? anyway uh yeah really good use of space otherwise i i love the the ladders going up and up and up you know like you have ladders here too i really like the makeshift sort of paths through environments that some people put into their maps those are really cool 
yeah, really good use of like struts and supports and just like angled sort of things generally. It looks really, really good. And the big ladder up here. That looks really good, man. Really, really good. It doesn't quite seem totally... I don't want to say tf 2 e because I could maybe see this as being TF2, but it it has a certain style that you don't see in DF2 maps. Also, if this was a spawn room, having the door be right here would probably be way too dangerous and just, boom, just die. Oh, it's actually a death pit. I'll have to wait 20 seconds. Um, hmm. Yeah, so really good job on the outside. The outside portions look amazing. The inside portions the upper sections of the wood building is really interesting, but then the inside sections in this cave area are kind of weird. And also the lighting on top of the resupply cabinet, it's a bit bright, but that might just be because you haven't built the cube maps or whatever. Uh, yeah, so really, really, really cool job. The skybox transition, my god, that's such a good job. Really, really cool, cool, awesome job. Wow, you like split this down, dude, dude. Okay, nice job. That looks good. I'm convinced it looks good as a red resupply area. The cave though, what's the cave? What is this cave? Very weird, very weird cave. Um... Yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, good job. I know I'm kind of critiquing harshly on the cave. You might be thinking, oh, man, he had good feedback. He did a cool video, but like, why would he hit the cave so hard? But it's like, it doesn't make any sense, dude. Like, leave a comment down below. Why is the cave there? What, what, why, why is it here? Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, so there's your feedback. See ya.